This YouTube channel is generating a substantial income through the creation of straightforward educational videos for kids. Leveraging 2D animations, some of their most popular content has amassed over 40 million views. A quick check on Social Blade reveals they boast a staggering 1 million subscribers, with estimated monthly earnings ranging from $76,000 to an astonishing $121,000. The sheer magnitude of their success is astounding. But here's the exciting part you too can venture into this lucrative field with the assistance of AI technology. In today's video, I'll demonstrate how to produce a captivating educational video for children using AI. I'll break down the process into five manageable parts, so be sure to stick around until the end. Firstly, we need a script to guide our video. To accomplish this, we'll utilize Chatty. Simply prompt Chatby with the request, write a child learning video script about various birds, and watch as it crafts an engaging YouTube script complete with visual cues and content guidelines. Extract the host segment of the generated text and transfer it into a document, such as Google Docs. Then, copy the entire script into the same document to lay the foundation for our project. With the script in hand, we move on to the next step generating the voiceover for our video. This task will be seamlessly accomplished using a text-to-speech AI tool called Credo AI. If you're new to Credo AI, begin by clicking on the free trial option and proceed to create an account using your email and password. Ensure to verify your email address once the account creation process is complete. After logging in, navigate to the AI text dubbing section and choose your preferred language and voice model. Next, return to your document file, copy the first paragraph of your script, and paste it into the Credo AI text box. Click on Audition to listen to the generated voice output. If satisfied, click on Confirm. Otherwise, experiment with different voice models and audition until you find one that meets your expectations. Once satisfied, click on Create and select AI Text Dubbing. Now, return to your document file, copy the second paragraph, and paste it into the Credo AI text box. After previewing the output, click on Confirm. Repeat this process for each paragraph of your script until the entire text is converted. After converting the entire script, download all the audio files in ascending order. This concludes the voice generation step. In the next phase, we'll proceed to animate the character along with the audio. For animation purposes, we'll utilize Adobe Express. You can find the link to Adobe Express in the description below. Once you're in Adobe Express, kick off by clicking on Start Now. From there, you can choose a lively character suitable for your video, especially since our target audience is children, and amusing characters tend to hold their attention better. Once you've made your selection, proceed to customize the background by choosing a custom color, and then set the video size to match the dimensions of a YouTube video. Next, upload your first audio clip or simply drag and drop it into the designated area. Adobe Express will require some time to generate the animated character synced with our audio. Once the generation process is complete, hit Download to save the video. After downloading, click on Back to Editing, followed by Replace Audio. Here you can choose to alter the character or change the background if necessary, and then upload the second audio clip. Repeat this process for all subsequent audio clips. With that, we wrap up our third step. Moving on to step number four, we'll utilize Canva to create animated footage for our video. If you're new to Canva, start by creating an account using your email. Upon account creation, navigate to the video section and select YouTube video. After uploading all the animated videos generated by Adobe Express, proceed to the elements section and search for a forest background. Choose a fitting background image and adjust it to match the video size. To ensure perfect synchronization, refer to the duration of the animated videos in your upload folder. For instance, if the first video lasts around 11 to seconds, adjust the timer to 12 seconds for perfect synchronization in the editing section. 
Next, return to the Elements section and incorporate animated trees to enhance the visual appeal of the video. Search for animated trees, select them, and position them within the background image according to your preferences. Additionally, add some birds to the video's background, considering the nature of our video about birds. Once satisfied with the arrangement, download the background image. Now, return to the Google Docs document and locate the first bird mentioned in our script, which is a robin. Head back to Canva, search for a robin in the Elements section, choose a suitable image, and adjust its size. Here's where Canva's amazing feature comes into play. Click on Animate, then select Create an Animation. Drag the robinto the desired position and witness it gracefully moving around in the background. After making these adjustments, download the video to finalize your creation. Delete the robin from the video and replace it with the second bird mentioned in the script, which is an owl. Repeat this process for all the birds mentioned in the script, ensuring each bird is appropriately substituted. Download the videos accordingly. This marks the completion of our fourth step. Moving on to step number five, we'll proceed to edit the videos and add the final touches using CapCut as our video editing software. Alternatively, you can utilize any video editing software of your preference. Begin by importing all the animated videos and background footage into the software. Insert the first background video into video layer one and the corresponding animated video into video layer two. Select Video Layer 2 and activate the Chroma Key function in your editing software. Adjust the position of the animated character to align with the background. For animations where no specific bird is mentioned, utilize the same background. Insert the second animated video on Layer 2, activate the Chroma Key, and adjust the character's position accordingly. Ensure the duration of the background layer matches that of the animated layer. Repeat this process for the remaining animated videos, ensuring seamless integration of characters and backgrounds. Once the editing process is finalized, click on the export button to generate the final product. Congratulations, our animation video is now complete. Let's watch the video. Welcome, little friends, to our exciting adventure in the world of birds. Today, we're going to learn about some amazing feathered friends who soar high in the sky and sing beautiful songs. Are you ready let us go? Our first feathered friend is the cheerful and colorful robin. Robins have bright red breasts that help them stand out. They love to hop around gardens, searching for juicy worms and tasty bugs to eat. Oh, look at its beak. It's perfect for picking up little snacks. Now, let us meet someone who is great at camouflaging, the owl. Owls are excellent hunters, and their feathers help them hide in trees during the day and fly silently at night. Can you hear the soft flutter of its wings shoe? It's hunting for its next meal. This marks the culmination of our efforts, and I must say, the final product is truly remarkable. With just a bit of research and dedication, you can craft an outstanding kids learning video using this method. After creating your video, don't hesitate to upload it to your YouTube channel and start generating passive revenue. I always emphasize the importance of investing time in editing and carefully selecting your topics, as doing so will undoubtedly yield superior results. I'm eager to hear about your experiences creating kids learning content. Feel free to share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, keep creating.